Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap that notification bell, and like this video. It does help me keep making videos, and I would appreciate it majorly. So, somebody chucked a cell phone at the president, at Trump today. He was in Indiana speaking to an NRA, um, a, at an NRA event. And uh, right as his intro was, song was playing, you know, before his remarks, somebody chucked it up on stage. They've already arrested, arrested the individual. I think he's being uh, taken for a mental health evaluation. I believe he was uh, heavily intoxicated. I think there's a report of that. And I don't, I don't know if he's pro-Trump or, or anti-Trump, you know. I, uh, I mean, Indiana is a pretty pro-Trump state. And Heavy.com has, they've identified him in the Fox News and in NBC. His name's William Rose. And I think he goes by Matt Rose on Facebook. Heavy.com has him pictured from his Facebook page. Actually, I don't think, uh, I don't know where that photo's from because there's no photos on his Facebook page. But that's that's the individual right there. Um, other than his profile picture with a, with a female who I assume is his wife or his girlfriend. Um, I think it's his wife, which is uh, right there. So, yeah, you know, I mean, that's pretty serious. You know, whether you're pro-Trump or not pro-Trump, you know, for his sake, I hope he is pro-Trump, you know, because, uh, you know, you can get in huge trouble for that, man. Huge, especially as crazy. There's a video of it. Let me show you that. Um, you know, uh People are just getting crazy, you know, and somebody, I don't know, man, it's just, it's just, it's just getting so crazy, but the, uh, it took me a couple times to, sh to watch this before I, come on, dude, you know what, I swear, if that, if that plus, that, that song playing, man, I bet that's gonna, you know what, hmm. here, here it is, I'm not playing the audio for that, because that'll get copyright. Comes flying up on, there it goes. You see it right there? Boom. And he he saw it, okay? So, one more time. Like, you see it just go flying across. There it goes. Boom. You know? Um, it's crazy. So, one more time. One more time. I wonder if you could see right from right around there. Okay. You know, it says the individual was identified as William Rose. Law enforcement said uh, the sources added that Rose was intoxicated at the event. In a statement to Fox News, the Secret Service said at approximately 12.30 p.m. today, President Trump was in an event in Indianapolis, Indiana. As president was walking on the stage, but prior to his remarks, a cell phone from the crowd landed on the opposite side of the, of the stage. An individual was removed from the event. And investigation is continuing. The it says arrested. So, um, Marion County Sheriff's Office provided a statement to Fox News saying they assisted the U.S. Uh, Secret Service today in an ongoing investigation. William Rose, a subject in the investigation, was transported to receive a mental health evaluation. Katie Pavlich, you know from Fox News, and she's a she's a reporter too said a man threw a cell phone on stage when President Trump walked out for his NRA speech. He threw it stage left while POTUS was closer to stage right. The man hung around up front for a few minutes carrying Mountain Dew as POTUS started remarks and then Secret Service removed him. So, like I said, that's his picture right there. I don't know what that picture is, man. You know, that's not the event. I don't think. Maybe it is. Maybe that's, maybe that is the event. Could be. William Rose has been identified as the Indiana man accused of throwing his phone onto stage at NRA Leadership Forum in Indianapolis near President Trump. A video captured the moment. The phone was flung in the direction of Trump, but landed far to his left as he walked to the podium to address the gun lobby group's rally on April 26th at Lucas Oil Stadium. 
Rose was removed from the event by Marion County Sheriff's Office and the Secret Service. An investigation in the incident is ongoing. It's not clear if Rose intentionally threw the phone at Trump. If the phone was thrown towards the president, a motive for why Rose threw it has not been revealed. Supposedly, he told the police that somebody, um, somebody, that it, somebody stole his phone, but they didn't really. I don't think they believed him. You know, because it says that over at NBC, federal and state authorities said agents detained the man who owned the phone, identified as 31-year-old William Rose. He was held by Marion County <clears throat> Sheriff's Office for a mental health evaluation. A law enforcement official said Rose denied throwing the phone and claimed someone stole it. However, agents found his account to be a conf confusing one. <clears throat> um... So, where was I? Um, Carlson referred, refer, referred questions to the Secret Service. Carlson, who's that? It's the she Marion County Sheriff, I believe. Marion County Sheriff's Office assisted in the U U.S. Secret Service today in an ongoing investigation. Katie Carlson, public information officer for the Sheriff's Office, told Heavy in an email, William Rose, a subject to the investigation, was transported to receive a mental health evaluation. It's pretty much the whole story there. I mean, it goes into who, who he is and stuff, but, you know, he's just I think he's married with kids. Um, an Indiana native. He's originally from Rockville, Indiana. Now lives in Marshall, Indiana. Rose is married and three kids. Has a DUI. Works for a farm. Works for his family's farming business, Rose Brothers Farms, M&M Farms. In 2010, was arrested in Park County, Indiana, and charged with driving under the influence. So I don't know, man. You would think he's pro-Trump, maybe as a farmer. Who knows? You know, um, but that's the story there. All right. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.